things get that out. Yeah. Whoa. Only a bit. Oh, geez. Look how oily it is. That is proper cooked, that is. Oh, okay, one, two, three. Right, okay, go. Okay. That's, that's it. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Yes, we're going to be working on the bike. I um, just want to really appreciate everybody that's um, dropping a comment down below about the bike. Um, also mentioned that, yeah, um, I actually got lucky saying that it's a spark plug, could have been flooded by the amount of time I was kicking the bike. A lot of people mentioned never, I never kicked the bike hard enough, which um, I'm going to try and do when I actually check the spark plug to see if it's wet, see if there's any spark. I'm going to take all the guards off. I'm going to... Uh, you know, get it all open. First time doing this, never done it before. But I just want to say really thank you to everybody. Drop the comments down below. Even ve very useful, interesting knowledge about the bike and uh, on what to check and things to check. And I'm going to give it a go. Um, we'll give, give it a try. Uh, and hopefully we'll get it working and get it starting or we'll identify the problem. And uh, like I said, if I, if I don't get it done, I can always take it to a bike shop which somebody had recommended me to do. But we will always give it a try. And um, let's get straight to it. I'm so we're gonna take this guards off now. Perfect fit. This bike seriously needs a clean though. Looks proper naked without the thing now. This one's not even tight. That's how you know um, someone's definitely has used it. Look at that, by a hand. I haven't even watched a video to be honest of how to open this but people have said that if the air filter is below the seat and to get the spark plug you gotta open this all up Things get that out Yeah. Looks like the person never serviced the, serv I mean cleaned the filter of this bike when they had it The spark plug is right there so I need to somehow get this off with some pluses Yeah so many screws. How many bolts we took off? About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'd have to do a count check how many bolts was on the just to take all them covers off. Oh wow. Oh my god. Jeez. How did that come off? Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> smells nice though. I love the smell of petrol. So that's it. We'll put that there. Yeah, right. A yeah, good picture this is, like a thumbnail picture. Well, it looks naked, the bike does. <laughs> right, okay. Um, this is, look how dirty it is. Definitely needs a detail. Right, just trying to sniff that. Spark plug. NGKR. I'm quite excited, I am. It's the first time doing it, it's pretty easy. I honestly thought, like, I'd have to look at a YouTube video to take it apart. But it's actually pretty easy. Uh, I think it'll be a size tw 21. It's always a 21. There it is. 20 million 20. Um, mm. oh, oh. It's not gonna work. I need a 20. The spark plug was a bit of a tricky one. Um, like I said, I didn't even watch any videos, but um. I couldn't get in between like a, a 21 inch um, socket so I got one like this and there's like a hole here so I put one of these screwdrivers in here I got a hammer I was bashing it open bashing it open like this well like this and it opens up so right now we're going to take the spark plug off now and um, just, to, just to show you guys um, Look how oily it is. Oh, caught it. <laughs> Look at that. Look how black it looks. To clean it, I'll give it a try, but that is proper cooked. That is, I'm have to get a new spark plug, but I don't know. We could probably try and see for sparks, but uh, we'll give it a try. But that's all the dirt that's come out of the spark plug, if you can see. Um, we've got it cleaned up, but this was purely just blacked out. 
but we're gonna put it back onto the you know the put it back into it is put it by the metal casing crank it up to see if there's any spark and also crank it up to see any compression which um, somebody mentioned in the comment section you can get the compression from just you know kick that kick it down a few times and you can see some compression coming out air coming out so we'll give that a go and um, take it from there <sighs> ah right okay Okay, I'm in the I'm on top of the bike now. So it did spark then. So it did work then that means. So we've got good news. Um there was some air compression sucking up, which means that the top end is good, the bottom end is good. Um the only thing that I have to check which I might not check in this video is taking the exhaust off and looking inside to see if the pistons got, got any worn or anything like that but anyway let's put the spark plug back in and uh, give it a start with the petrol on and uh, see if it works this time maybe it was flooded maybe it was maybe it was we don't know for sure filter back on as well here like that and this petrol tank Go. I'll give it a crank let's do it okay bismillah let's do it then let's crank it up fuel on need a choke on and it should start up now a bit of gas all right one two three bismillah am I missing something Oh, okay, one, two, three, right, okay, go. Okay, that's it, that's it. Let's put that back here. Oh, yeah, right then, uh, um, guys, um, second attempt uh, didn't work out. Okay, so we've come back from the shop. So hopefully this is it now. This bike is gonna start up with this now, hopefully. So let's whack that in. I'm gonna put the GoPro strap on my head and we'll go through it all together. Hopefully it starts up, inshallah. By the, by the, by the will of the Almighty. Plug in there. You know, when I first saw the bike, I thought the engine oil was in, the engine oil was in there. And you got like a, a screw underneath here, right there. And I thought you take that out and you put an engine oil in there because this is an engine, but it's a bit different. It's actually the gearbox oil that goes um, not in there but somewhere around here. Um, but um, we'll do, I think it's somewhere there, the gearbox oil. I'll have to um, really look up that. But anyway, um, we'll, that's another thing to another video when we service the whole thing. We'll learn that um, through YouTube videos. Honestly speaking, like. I've learnt all this from literally from YouTube videos, so I haven't learnt it anywhere else. That's it. Right there. Oops, sorry. Okay, right, so this should start up now. Um, I looked at a video and uh, somebody recommended don't even use the throttle, don't even use it. The choker's job is to start up the bike and then leave it running. Don't even accelerate, it should start up. Right.
that's not fuel, that's like water, but the, the fuel's coming out of here. Let me just go to the side. All praises by the Almighty, we were able to start up the bike. So um, it started up, and that's the most important thing. We, we managed to pull it off. Alhamdulillah, we did it, guys. So let's park it up. And Another, another factor why this could be running too lean is because there could be too much air in the carburetor which is the cause and the reasons to why maybe it's me when I blew all the fuel out could be the reason to why it's running too lean that's my fault that is but um, again um, that could be the reason I don't know what the problem is now but anyways um, like I said um, may the almighty bless each and every one of you it's all right it's all it's no problems it's a learning curve I'm still happy uh, we're gonna see it in the next video when we drop it off to behind bars for them to have a look at it so peace out to everybody and I'll see you guys in the next video peace